Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Tacoma and the most notable features you'll see on this Tacoma is its lane departure alert. You have your backup camera along with your heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just so you have a much better idea of what's available on this new Toyota Tacoma. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Tacoma is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then taking a closer look just at your front grille, you'll see your plug-in block heater. Over on the side you have the 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your gray cloth into your seat surfaces with your driver lumbar support over on your left hand side. You have your on off switch for your rear cargo power outlet along with your automatic headlights. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your seat function, volume control, your voice recognition, mode select, your Bluetooth scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and cruise control. Now taking a look at your multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we take a look through here as you can see you have your digital speedometer with the distance to empty. You have your trip info, but you can also go through your audio, lane departure alert, messages, and then finally in your settings menu you have your pre-collision system, lane departure alert, and your settings. Now at the very top of the screen you'll see an exterior temperature gauge, and taking a look now just at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features in here. So if you go inside your apps menu, you'll see your audio phone messages as well as a couple of other additional features. You do have the XM satellite radio on here as well. Taking a look just down below here, you have your 4x4 select, hazard lights, heated mirrors, temperature control settings. Underneath you'll see your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger along with your ECT power, USB and auxiliary input, and your power outlet. Now it's matted to an automatic transmission. And taking a look just at the top here, you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror with digital compass. And you'll find the traction control on and off up at the top here as well with your sunglass case holder. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall or if you're trying to hook up your trailer. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now, one of the nice things with your rear bumper is it's a three-piece bumper, so in the event that you damage the one section, you just have to replace the one segment. You have your connectors for your towing, spare tire located underneath your rear bumper, and then your backup camera as well as a lock for the tailgate. Now, closing in on the rear cargo bed here, you do have, over on your right-hand side, that rear cargo power outlet. So if you're ever out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you'd like, you'll plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. You have the bed rail system in here as well, so you can readjust those cleats that you see on either side there. Place them all on one side of the bed rail system or take them out all together, just depending on what your needs are for. Now over on your left, right, front, and back side, you're going to see a couple of areas where you can tie down some loose cargo. Just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed while you're driving. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.